This poster outlines what you need to know about biliary atresia. What is biliary atresia? In the body, bile ducts typically connect the liver to the small intestine, allowing bile to drain from the liver where it is produced into the small intestine where it aids in the digestion of food. In biliary atresia, scarring and blockage of the bile ducts occur, causing bile to build up in the liver where it causes damage and eventual scarring of the liver, otherwise known as cirrhosis. This is one of the most common causes of chronic liver disease in children. What are signs and symptoms of biliary atresia? The classic signs of biliary atresia are jaundice, also known as yellowing of the skin, scleral icterus, which is yellowing of the eyes, dark-colored urine, and clay-colored stools. These signs typically present within the first few weeks of life, but it's important to note that these symptoms are not present at birth, and prenatal ultrasounds and testing is typically normal for babies with biliary atresia. If these symptoms appear in a baby, it's important to bring them into their primary pediatrician as soon as possible. The pediatrician can urgently refer them to a pediatric liver specialist, and a diagnosis can be aided by labs, liver ultrasounds, and a liver biopsy, but an x-ray study known as a cholangiogram confirms the diagnosis. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, a procedure known as the Kasai procedure can be done to help restore bile drainage. In this procedure, the scarred bile ducts are removed and a direct connection between the liver and small intestine is made. The optimal timing of the procedure is six to eight weeks of life, making early recognition and diagnosis very important. After the Kasai procedure is performed, most patients will eventually need a liver transplant due to slow ongoing liver disease, but the timing of the transplant varies from patient to patient and the relative success of the Kasai procedure. This makes biliary atresia actually the number one cause of liver transplant in the pediatric population.